Hello everyone, um, welcome to another video and um, in this video I'm going to show you how to install an application well two, um, uh, the first one being Do, which is a game uh, a first person a first person shooter by ID Software and um, also Visual Basic 1.0 which is um, a programming IDE that we'll be using in the in following videos so Something that you'll, uh, two things that you'll need to before this is first of all to make sure that you have a floppy drive installed. You can do this by going to devices, and I believe if you have floppy drives here, it should it should mean that you have a, do have a floppy drive installed. And the next thing that you would need is the files. So here you've got Doom, and we also have Visual Basic. Both of these um, softwares are available from winworldpc.com and I'll put the um, link in the description so let's get on with it first of all we shall install Doom so go to devices, floppies and choose floppy disk navigate to our file floppies, Doom, Doom, disk1 now usually the standard floppy drive is the A, A drive so we just do A colon, just navigate to this drive, and DIR. As you can see, here we have four files. Install, Doom, D-E-I-C-E, -E, and uh, yeah. So what you'll need to do is run the install.bat file, which you can type out first if you want to see what the code is. And you just do install. Which drive you want to install to? C. Enter the actual name. Just leave that as Doom. If it doesn't exist, create it. Press Y. Now, when prompted, insert the secondary disk. This happens in all install installations of any program. You always have to swap diskettes. Press enter. Insert disk 3. Press enter. Then insert disk 4. And click enter. Now, just insert disk 1 again. And press enter. And now it is decompressing. Select controller type. We can use keyboard and mouse. Even though I'm not sure whether or not I have a mouse drive installed. Except that. Um, I recommend you use Sound Blaster. To uh, keep this as default. Sound Blaster. All of these shall be default. Save settings and run to him. And there you go. If you do not have any sound, that's probably because you haven't configured uh, VirtualBox correctly and um, as you can probably tell I haven't configured oh wait there you go you do have sound although it's not very good to skill level it's a bit slow but you can I believe this is probably something to do with um, uh, virtualization which you can probably change in um, in your VirtualBox settings maybe you need some um, hardware acceleration but yeah Doom um, very nice, I think it works, uh, works perfectly, yeah, except of course that it's very slow. Um, and the sound isn't very good, but apart from that it works, it works seemingly flawlessly. Quick game. There you go. Now we can install, um, uh, Visual Basic. You shall do now. Floppy is Visual Basic, Disk One. Go back to the A drive, the IR, and now you can see that there's much more. Uh, there's a bunch more files. Look for anything that looks like setup.exe, setup.bat, install.bat, something like that. As you can see, we have um, a setup.exe file, and we can run that. Uh, install Visual Basic for DOS. Some black name, um, Jet, I suppose. But I'm sure. Uh, I recommend we just use an 8087 math. Uh, choose your uh, language, and I believe this is because um, different languages use different um, character sets, so we'll go with English. We'll use that. Uh, library, let's, let's, use, let's create a folder for library. Help can be an HLP. Very nice. No changes. Uh, 
uh, insert disk 2 continue I always like just pulling this menu up because you're always going to have to uh, insert the next disk if you if the program comes with multiple disks so disk 4 I believe yeah and then disk 5 and then disk 6 and then disk 7 perfect exit and now you have um, VBDOS installed and there you have it there you have your um, your, your, your VBDOS um, environment um, where you can uh, program uh, it's basically like Visual, Visual Studio almost so there you have it I believe there's actually a, a mouse driver here there we go and uh, when you install the mouse driver VirtualBox will do that so and now I think if you do edit ah very nice you see now we have a, we have a mouse which can move around so yeah you can now use QBasic and edit and I believe even do with mouse support to include this I think we'll just edit some um, auto execute like that to um, include this so we'll do um, I think we just have to do c colon backslash vbdos backslash mouse.exe and then a code mouse driver installed a code out. Uh, now if we reset the computer which we shall go ahead and do now reset oh yes now this is something I actually wanted to show you is that if you get this ever on startup it's because you have a disk in the floppy drive and we shall remove that and then press any key and there you go starting ms -DOS. there you go and now if you do edit very good we have the mouse installed and it works quite well actually i just want to test doom Yeah, Doom works fine now too. You can use your mouse with the with Doom. Yep, seems to work okay. Okay. Yeah, so the mouse also works with Doom once you got have the uh, mouse drive installed. So yeah, so by installing those apps, you also got um, the um, mouse working in DOS, which is very nice. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll see you guys later.